Well, folks, it's that time again. Knife evaluation. And today, I've got a brand new, shiny, Falconiven A2. First task, chopping. So that was a bit slow. Compared to a Trailmaster, it was nowhere near as good. And when I dropped the log and got moss on my hands, I found it quite slippery as well. That's disappointing. But then again, I very rarely chop in a real situation where I need to cut my wood up for fire. I use a saw. So the chopping is a bit... Mm, do a bit of splitting now. So I'll split the round I just chopped. My mangled faithful baton. Let's get this crap off. Well, it went through okay. We've got two knots it went through. So, a bit of vibration through my hand again. We split these down further now. It was a bit easier going through quarters than the full round. Firewood. Now let's have a go with the sections that I've sawn up. Now if you're wondering why I'm taking the back off, simple really. It's one less obstacle to get through. That may seem a bit strange because it's only thin back, but I do know from experience, get the back off, we'll split easier.
Well, there's fuel and kindling sorted. Now I need to make some tinder. Tends to dig in quite a bit, which I didn't expect. With that grind, I thought it would be a lot better. So I'm going to do some fine ones with the tip. Well, I'm not having a lot of joy making feather sticks with it. But then again, it is an eight inch blade knife. Let's try some scrapings. Well it will scrape, but I've got to put a lot of pressure on it. The back spine isn't that sharp. Let's hope I can get a ferro rod on it now. Well, it'll scrape a ferro rod. It's better than the F1 Pro, but still not brilliant. Quite disappointing. When my fire's getting back a light and I can have another cup of tea, I'm gonna batten up a big round.
So now the heavy work's done and I'm sitting comfortably, I'm going to do a couple of small carving tasks with uh, the A2. I'm going to do another notch in my pot hanger and I'm going to make another feather stick while I'm sitting in a comfortable position. I'm going to give the knife a bit of a bit of a strop now. I think I better give it a bit of a clean too. Well, that was pretty good. I can't complain about that. Fet the stick time. It's only a little one. But definitely, sitting comfortably, bit of a strop on the feather stick does improve. I'm sure that'll light no problem with the ferro rod. Unfortunately, I don't think it'll light very well with the spine on the A2. Well I neglected to mention the sheath earlier. Comes with a leather sheath. Well made, very sturdy. Fits in nice. Not too tight like a lot of sheaths are too tight when they're on your belt you're trying to pull them out they don't want to come out but this one's okay. Stud fastener doesn't really get on in the way when you withdraw but my gripe and this is a personal gripe the dangler if you follow me you know I usually carry a dangler loop on my belt at all times whether it's a clip one for a smaller knife or a wrap around one for a big knife now if I was to cut that off mine isn't going to pass through there so I would like to have seen a bigger dangler, a bigger D-ring and a removable dangler so you can put it on your belt because taking your belt on and off is a pain in the backside and you're sitting down for any length of time you want to take your knife off, you've got to take your belt off it's a pain in the bum Here are my thoughts on the A2 I'm disappointed with it It's a pretty good knife It's crap for chopping so if you want to buy a big knife for chopping the A2 isn't it it's just not heavy enough up front. I've got far better knives for chopping. Fine work, it's okay. You know, I carved that notch easy, pretty quick. So that's all right. But then you don't want a knife that size for fine work, do you? You're going to carry something smaller. But it does work. Makes an okay feather stick. Plenty good enough to light your fire with. Split in, well... I put it through that big round, I give it two or three whacks and I know it wasn't going to go through and it's a big blade, you should expect that to be able to go through a decent size round but it wasn't going to happen. Split in around the side, great, but then you can do that with a smaller knife anyway. So on the whole quite disappointed with the A2, I just seem to remember it being a better knife for the money and it's expensive, it's not cheap. It's £350-ish with Heinies and a little bit more expensive with knives and tools. Better off buying something like an O1 Trailmaster. It's a lot cheaper, it's bigger, it's heavier, it's a better knife. If you've got the extra money, the Samai Trailmaster is definitely a better knife. Well, it's almost four years later since I did this review and I just wanted to add a couple of things on. I really like this knife, it's a nice knife, but 
if you're going to be using a saw with it, you know, silky Laplander, buck saw, whatever, the extra length on this from the A1 or the A1X or the A1 Pro is necessary. It's a cracking knife for battening. It's great for cutting branches and things off. Can't fault it at all. But it's not that good a chopper. If you've got an A1, stick with that. Especially if you're using a saw. I just want to add that on. It's seen quite a bit more use. And yeah, it's a good knife. But if you've got an A1, wouldn't really bother. And if you're going to use a saw and you're looking to buy one, I would personally just get an A1. I'd probably get a Pro or an X personally because I like the extra weight and the extra thickness on them. Right, thank you very much for watching this updated video. I appreciate your comments, I appreciate your views, and I certainly appreciate a thumbs up. Till next time, ta -ra. Well, it's almost three years later. Say so start that again, that's wrong for a start because it's not this four years. Right, start again. So it's a lot of money when personally I think you'd be better off buying something like an O1 Trail Master. <clears throat> the smoke's coming in my face. Oh, <laughs>